OK, just to finish things off, um, the wee bit that you're going to see here, uh, the best way to explain it is, it, obviously you can see that edge there, in there, it's a bit dirty, um, you can see that the edge there, so if you just measure um, how far, how, or how wide this bit here is, OK, um, let's measure the width here, and then just mark that on there, and then basically you just throw that in, and that's what you would see there. Okay, that edge. So that's pretty much done. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tidy up the drawing. I know I've got a few wee extra bits just to do. I'm going to tidy up the drawing here. We're going to continue the base. Uh, the base obviously, some of the base would be shown. Uh, I'm tidying up these lines just now while I talk so you can see things a bit better. So, tidy this right up. Make sure whenever you, you do these outlines, that your sort of final lines, that you're taking care to make sure that there's no tails and that your, your lines meet precisely at a point and there's no wee tails because you lose marks. And you're, you're, this is meant to be a production drawing, this is meant to be a drawing that somebody can use to, to produce something from. Okay, to get the height of the base around this side, I'm simply going to bounce this height round. Okay. Bounce it round to there. So that means at this point here where it meets the line that I extended. I'm just going to go back to there and then we'll just continue this round the back. You know, obviously you won't really see any more. Extend it down to the base. Along. Oops. And then down to there. Okay. And then obviously we can come in the four millimetres. And up. And then we're going down the four millimetres here. Okay, and in fact, I've kind of cut that a wee bit short, which is, which is okay. Maybe we can uh, see that. Well, I haven't got it short, that's actually fine. Right, so that's that's the basic shape of, of the thing. Now, we've got these circles here. Um, they're kind of like places for this to be bolted down, I would imagine. So these are isometric circles. So um, what I'll do with this is I'll show you how to do that one there. Uh, you'd only be able to see that one and that one. The rest would be hidden. Um, oh, one more thing. Um, you would see the inside of the casting. Um, you're going to see it as it comes along here. Okay. And that's gone wildly off for some reason, hasn't it? No, it's fine. And then you would see uh, the inside here coming is slightly there. Okay. That's just to inform you on that. Um, right, okay. Position of, of this one here, so it's 22 from the edge, so that's 11 from here. I'm going to mark a centre line for that. Um, then it's 38 from the edge, that's 19. So we'll just measure 19 along this line. That's there. That's the, the point there, so centre line there. And it's going to be the, the, usual, the usual fashion, right? Um, I'm going to have to do a circle, which is well, it'll be 14 the outside one and 16 for the hole in the middle. So it's going to be 14 there for that diameter, and then that's going to be 8 millimetres there. So I'm just going to measure up a 14. Um, what are these holes here? One of them is a 28, so that's actually 
that's fine. So that's the small hole there is already done for us. So we can just take information from that, and that's good. Measure mark that one there. And you know the drill here. So in some ways uh, I may be quite happy just to sign off on this and uh, let you complete it yourself, but I'll, I'll keep you on in this one anyway, just to let you see how you do it. Just to remind you, just marking on all the points. And just emphasise again that when you do your lining in at the end, make sure it's really clear the distance, or the difference, sorry, between um, the outlines and your construction lines. Really, really important. So I've got all our points, just build up a bit of a grid here. Just transfer the heights and stuff on in the usual manner. And then it'll just be a smooth curve through things that we need to do. And then you obviously need to build up the height a wee bit of it. It's just a bit of a footer. That's a good Scottish word. It's a footer. You know, it's not the bottom of a DTP document, and it's a a bit of a hassle to do this, but the more of these you've done, the better I guess you get at it. Okay, so we'll just sketch this in here. I know that the, the bottom edge here is going to be seen because and the back edge here is not going to be seen. So I'm just going to do it in lightly. Because we've got, obviously, let's get some height to it. Right, so that's the, the front edge there. Uh, what height is it? Six millimetres, so it's three millimetres up. So we're going to project up from each of these three millimetres, each of the points up three millimetres. And that will give us the top of this. You get to stage where you get pretty good at, at judging heights of things as well, so I know that these wee lines I'm drawing up here are, are pretty much 3mm in height, but I do need to check it and really what I should do is use the compass just to set it to 3mm and then just measure the heights round. You, you get a tolerance of, of 1mm on your drawings, so you can afford to be out a wee bit. But it is only a millimetre, so you know, don't don't be complacent and not measure things. But if you are out a wee bit, it's okay. You get some compensation for that. Okay, so just gonna line these in to the top of this. Sweep it around here. Sweeps right round, tight curve here coming. Okay, so that's right there. Darken in these bits here. Okay, so we're gonna have another one of these up the top here. And then this has got a hole in the middle as well. So what you need to do for that is um, draw a centre line on the top. Just now, just project up from the, the centre to there, and that's going there. So, on the top there, I'm going to do another circle which is going to be the hole, and that's going to have a diameter of uh, 8. So, I'm going to have to set my, set, uh, my compass to 4 for this, and I'll draw it up. You're on your own, folks, with this because. Um, I think you've got enough information now to complete it. So I'm going to stop the video and I'll do finish it off and you can finish yours off.